Hello everyone and welcome to Comic Cap. Uh, today's video is going to be about my Funko Pop collection. So before I get started, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, please click that like button and let me know what you think of my pops in the comment section. Okay, so this is my pop collection. So you see they're on shelves. These shelves were originally built for video game cases or DVDs. Kind of like that but I moved them elsewhere and now they're full of pops so let's start with the open pops okay so I'm gonna start with the unopened one unopened ones um, before I was smart enough to leave them in the box so we have infinity war cap and game Thor gotta glue his hammer back on and game cap and game like, Tony Stark Game Reverse Thor, Endgame Hulk, Endgame Hawkeye, Endgame, Endgame Captain Marvel. You got the two OGs, which were like low numbers, I think 03 and 06. This Captain America actually came from a one-up box a few years back. Then up top, you got a couple uh, Toy Story. Yep, Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep. Forky. Then you have the small Funko vinyls that are not pops. You have two Thanos is up there. You got Infinity War and Endgame. Then you have the Big Hulk. Sorry with the glare. It's hard to see him. And then you kind of have a random Luther from Umbrella Academy. Sorry. I'm trying to get the glare good here. Up top. He's the only non Marvel. In the collection other than the toy story then i also have these uh vinyl pops that also came with uh collector core boxes um walking dead and jack skeleton and dominion all right so let's start up here so i keep them in number order i know the numbers are tied to this each series but um if I have a double number, I'll just put them right next to each other. But since they're all Marvel, I just try to organize them by number. So up top, I have Bronze Stan Lee, a variant Storm, Hot Topic exclusive, black suit instead of white suit leg on the box, another Magneto, Hot Topic exclusive, also variant somehow, I'm not quite sure what. Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. The original Taskmaster. Then you have Civil War Black Panther. Doctor Strange from Doctor Strange. I'm going to jump to the other side. So we're in number order. You got Mystique. 217. Carnage. Miles Gamerverse. Holiday Hulk. Prowler from Into the Spider-Verse. Bruce Banner from... Infinity War, and then you got X-Men's Rogue. All right, starting back on this side, we have Talos, Burrs, which is a GameStop exclusive. And you have Ronin, which is a Funko specialty series. Black Widow from Endgame. And you have Ant-Man from Endgame, Nebula from Endgame, Hawkeye from Endgame. Two War Machines, one's an Amazon exclusive. Then you have Rocket from Endgame, Walmart exclusive, must be a variant somehow. You got the neon pink colored Hulk, also from Endgame. And we jump down here, we got Iron Man, box launch exclusive, not quite sure what that is. Spider-Man Stealth Suit, MJ, Molten Man, all from Far From Home. Also got Hydro Man. Uh, Dude Thor from Endgame, Rescue from Endgame, uh, Walmart exclusive Magneto, Wong, one of my favorites. That is a Funko Limited Edition Comic Con. You got uh, Neymar, 80 year, Human Torch, 80 year. And then you have the original X Men, you got Cyclops, Marvel Girl, Iceman, Beast. Angel, and then you have a Walgreens exclusive, um, Bombastic Spider-Man, 
who I believe was first appearance and only appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 258. So, also in the uh, PS4 Spider-Man game. Got Holiday Group, Holiday Rocket, Holiday Cap, 80-year Deadpool, 80-year Wolverine, 80-year Scarlet Witch, and then you got Gambit, Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch again, different one. Mole Man, Silver Surfer, and Super Scroll. You got Invisible Girl, GameStop exclusive. Uh, Captain America Endgame with the hammer and the lightning. The Iron Spider from Endgame. Hulk Holding Tacos from Endgame. Korg, Endgame. Bro Thor from Endgame. Thanos in the Garden. You got 80 Year Vulture. You got Venomized Miles Morales. And you got Taskmaster from Black Widow. Elena Belova from Black Widow. 80 Year Adam Warlock. Walgreens exclusive. Game Reverse Black Widow. Game Reverse Kamala Khan. Game Reverse Taskmaster. And you got Nightcrawler. Professor X. And Beast. Alright, so this is my favorite row because these are mostly newer ones. So you got Rogue, Jean Grey, which is more like Phoenix Jean Grey. You got Cyclops. You got Logan with Metal Claws. And then you have the Collector Core exclusive, Logan with Bone Claws. Zombie Mysterio, which... Nope, I'm sorry. I almost said it was a Collector Core, but that was the Deadpool and the Zombie Red Skull. Then you have more collector cores, Captain America, post credit scene, Nick Fury, post credit scene. Then you got Falcon and the Winter Soldier from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Then you got the Luchadors, Lucho Libres, El Ar Arcano, um, which is Spider-Man, Venom, and Wolverine, basically. And from WandaVision, you got 70s Vision. Dino Pool, which was Collector Core, and Ninja Deadpool, which was also Collector Core. All right, so now I'm just going to count real quick how many from each movie, each series I have, and add them up and let you know which ones I have total from each. Okay, just to sum it up, there's uh, one Stanley Icon Pop, 17 regular Marvel Pops, one Age of Ultron, one Civil War, one Doctor Strange, one Venom, one Spider-Man video game, one Spider-Man, one uh, two Infinity War, two X-Men, three Captain Marvels, nineteen for Endgame, four from Far From Home, twelve for Eighty Year, six for Fantastic Four, uh, Maximum Venom. There's one Black Widow. There's two Avengers, three Zombies, three Homecoming, one Falcon and Winter Soldier, two. Lucho Libre 3, Deadpool 2, um, total 91 in boxes, uh, total up there, there's over 110 Marvel Pops with the exception of Luther from Umbrella Academy, so I hope you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button, leave me some comments, let me know what you think of my pop collection, and I'll see you guys next time.